name is Joe. But if you met me for the first time, you probably wouldn't remember my name. You would recall my height. And that's what I want to talk about. The difficulties tall girls everywhere face. I'm six foot two, by the way. And yes, there are some upsides to being tall. I'm quite fortunate at concerts. I can reach the chocolate biscuits secreted on the upper shelves of my kitchen. Modeling might be an option if it weren't for continued encounters with said biscuits. <laughs> Regular showering has increased my flexibility no end, offering perfect opportunity to practice limbo skills. I don't want to be one of the crowd, far from it, but I do often envy the privileges they enjoy. Shoes, for example. It's not that I can't wear high heels, but finding anything size 11 in the female footwear department in itself is no small feat. <laughs> if I were to wear them, I'd feel like a giant sequoia in a field of bonsai. The media doesn't help my height crisis with its chick flicks of the sex in the city genre. I can't have a passion for those wonderful wedges, playful platforms, shimmering slingbacks, and the famously seductive stiletto that adorn every glamorous single female's walk-in wardrobe. Walk-in wardrobe? I'd probably bang my head on that before I got to the <laughs> So girls, now you understand some of the things I can't have. Boys, it's okay for you though. In fact, it's usually considered good in society if you're a boy and tall. My brothers, six foot eight and six foot nine. Obviously my mother is miracle bro. <laughs> they are considered tall, blonde and handsome. I, however, have gotten used to the fact that if out at a party and a boy hits on me, if he's not over six foot himself or has a beyond awesome personality, he's usually on a dare. <laughs> which brings me to my final point, something which I find most annoying and often painful about being tall. The comments, most common of which, are you a basketball player? <laughs> no, are you a jockey? <laughs> Look, Joe, that guy's tall, you should marry him. <laughs> I bet they'd love you in Asia. <laughs> you think I live in a pond the amount of time people shout duck from behind me, and yes, I love being able to see over the top of the cubicle in the female toilet. That's how I make new friends. <laughs> so the next time you see someone taller than you and you think about making a joke, laughing at them or just staring, I want you to remember how those extra few centimetres already affect their everyday lives, from showering to shopping. But don't pity us, because the way I see it, we are, after all, that little bit closer to the stars. Congratulations to Joe, the Central Essex Champion.